sun shining in fresh dew in the grass, welcoming women's soccer back to Summers Taylor Stadium. Adam Sayers' team opened practice last week in preparation for exhibition matches this week. Defending champions of the regular season, the team returns plenty of talent in 2012. They've got a strong group of players returning and obviously benefiting from last year's championship run. So now they have that, that first championship under their belt. I think they're, they're uh, prepared to defend it and, uh, and they're having tasted a bit of success. I think hopefully we'll be, uh, we'll be hungry for some more. While Sayers maintains Debs Brereton in the associate role, he also brings in another familiar face from his MTSU days in new assistant Laura Lambert. Yeah, I actually worked with Laura when she was a player. Um, and and, and she's she a very, very accomplished coach, uh, a very mature person, very organized person. I think she's got a great future in this profession, and uh, we're very fortunate to have her on board. At the head of the returning class, Tori Head comes back off injury, along with senior Morgan Thomas and rising upperclassmen like Ramey Kearns and Sammy Crone. Among the newcomers, three fresh keepers vying for Caitlin Gawne's old role. All key pieces of the puzzle for contending in the A-Sun. Sophomore defender Ellis Parsons nets preseason all-conference honors this season, while the Lady Bucks rank third in the coaches' poll behind Jacksonville and Florida Gulf Coast. Already with an exhibition win under their belt, the Lady Bucks host the second of two friendlies at home against App State. Official home opener happens on the 24th with Presbyterian. Looking at conference, the team gets home field advantage against Florida Gulf Coast early, but goes on the road toward the end of the season to face Jacksonville right before the tournament. With the women's soccer team at Summers Taylor Stadium, John Stevens, 